morning friends so last night i tried the heatless hurls heatless hurls heatless hurls <laughs> heatless curls technique where you like tie your dressing gown belt into your hair i'll leave a link to the video down below that i followed number one it was a blooming nightmare to sleep with probably the worst night's sleep i've had in 2021 so if you have any tips on how to sleep with these things then let me know number two let's see how it looks shall we see the big reveal so whoa 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 it is really curly whoa what are those <laughs> wow i'm impressed i'm kind of shook i'm kind of sh kind of shook kind of shook by how much how much that worked the curls are a little bit different to how i'd normally put curls in my hair because obviously it goes back like this and then at the back of my hair i have like no real curls but they do look great and you don't have to put any heat on your hair i'm just very conscious that i'm putting a lot of heat on my hair at the moment so oh oh i might try and loosen them up a bit with a comb soften them a bit the wonders, the wonders of a dressing gown tie. So these are the finished curls and I like them. I am, I am, I am going to get my tongue out and I am going to add in a couple of curls just here just to like even it out because it's very front heavy, but I'm impressed. I am impressed. It might look better on longer hair. Obviously my hair is quite short and I feel like if you had longer hair and your curls were sitting down here, it might look a bit better. So Anyway, I'll leave a link down below to the video that I followed. If you've been using this technique, please share any tips on how to make the curls a bit softer, or do they just fall out throughout the day, and also how to sleep with it in. How do you sleep? Because that was just an awful, awful, awful night's sleep. I'm not gonna lie. I'll leave a link to this Tom down below as well, because I always get questions about how I style my hair. I use this tong 90% of the time. So I'm kickstarting my day with a little mango birch bowl and a oat milk ice latte, of course, standard. Yesterday, I just had like a really hectic day and I didn't even have a coffee. I think it was the first day of 2021, but I didn't have a tea or a coffee. I didn't know who I was without caffeine. So <laughs> very happy to have you back in my life. Anyway, today I am gonna work for a little bit this morning. I'm also gonna share a book haul with you because you know what I'm really good at doing? I'm really good at buying books. I'm not that great at reading them. I feel like in life, I can't watch TV series and read books because like my designated free time is the evening and I only have a few hours. So I either spend that time reading a book or watching a TV series. I can't do both. And as you guys know, we've been smashing Line of Duty, the TV series, but almost coming to the end of series six. So once that's finished, I'm determined to be on like a book hype and smash some books because I have ordered quite a few and I haven't touched them. So yeah, I thought I could show you the books that I've bought and then take you with me for the day because you know, I've got a nice day today. We're in the middle of a heat wave, it's beautiful weather. I'm going to do a bit of work, have a bit of play, and hopefully you'll enjoy coming with me. Is it even a vlog if I don't dance with my toothbrush? I feel like it's a necessity in every video, okay? I got a lot of books. I got a lot of books to talk about, so let's jump in. First things first, this is Entangled Life. How fungi make our worlds, change our minds, and shape our futures. I got about halfway through, I don't know if you can see that, I'm up to about there. And then I took a break, because this book is in a word, dense. So I felt like I needed a break from it, and I've read a few light-hearted books since. I feel like I would need to be on holiday to read this book. I need to be somewhere where I have like loads of headspace to be able to absorb all of the knowledge and science in here, because it's like, just very in depth about fungi. I really enjoyed it. Like I've enjoyed reading the first half of it. 
but then I just felt like my brain was not in the headspace to absorb it so I kind of moved on to some lighter hearted things but I would love to go back and finish this book it's on my bedside table waiting to be picked back up when I have more headspace to be able to like absorb that much information about fungi but I have to say that so far so good fascinating but make sure that you have yeah the capacity to absorb a lot of fungi knowledge if you're going to read this the book that i am currently reading is this the panic years by nell frizzell dates doubts and the mother of all decisions and i've been listening to her podcast called the panic years so i thought i'd pick up the book and it's basically exploring that period of time between the ages of like 28 and your mid 30s where you have to make all these huge life decisions about like adulting houses mortgages careers relationships if you're going to become a parent or not etc etc and it explores that and i'm only two chapters in but thoroughly enjoying it so far and if the podcast is anything to go by i've really enjoyed that so i'm sure i'm gonna love the book and i have heard great things and next up we have some books that i have bought but have not read yet and this is one that my friend Vianna recommended to me i was actually at her house and she was making me some dinner and this was on her coffee table i think and i just picked it up and started flicking through and she told me that it is just phenomenal basically each of the essays there's 101 of them as it says in the title it's like two to four pages long so very digestible so you can like pick it up at night at the end of the day just before bed and read through like one or two essays and you feel like you're and you feel like you're learning something about yourself so there's loads of different topics in here let me read some titles of the essays things you need to know about yourself before you'll have the life you want why you shouldn't seek comfort how to know when the only thing in the way of your happiness is you etc 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 so yeah i've heard incredible things about this and i'm very 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 excited to read it that is probably going to be my next read but let's see i picked up this one wanderers a history of women walking at snape maltings in suffolk when i was there a couple of weeks ago and i just thought this is a beautiful book number one the cover is gorgeous and like, i'd love to display this in my house but number two, if you haven't gathered, I'm quite into walking. A book about 10 women who have over the past 300 years found walking essential to their sense of themselves as people and as writers. Now that sounds like a bit of me. So I'm very excited to tuck into that one. By the way, I will leave links down below to all of these books. So I have two more books to show you. This one, I actually haven't heard about the plot of it. So don't really know what happens in it. It is a fiction book but so many of my friends have read it and of course it's by Matt Haig so I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fantastic it's called The Midnight Library this book raises the ultimate question with infinite choices what is the best way to live now that sounds good to me I'm very excited to read it and also it looks like quite short I'm sure I could demolish that in a week or less so looking forward to it and last but not least we have this book now this is recommended by my dad it's called Other Minds The Octopus and the Evolution of Intelligent Life and on the back it says the octopus is the closest we will come to meeting an intelligent alien what can we learn from the encounter now after watching the netflix documentary called my octopus teacher which is just phenomenal guys you have to watch it if you haven't watched it yet it is just plumbing eckers it is incredible one of my favorite documentaries i think i've ever watched also i cried like four times so definitely recommend it after watching that i was like you know what i'm gonna get that book that my dad recommended because he's recommended this to me probably like three or four times i just haven't listened so <laughs> i'm listening now dad i've ordered it i'm gonna read it and i think it's gonna be quite a dense one maybe like you know like this fungi one that i showed you earlier this is quite a dense book because it's quite sciencey so i feel like this was nominated and shortlisted for the science prize in 2017 so it's probably quite sciencey so I probably need to read it when I've got a bit of spare time and a bit of head space to be able to like really tap into the science and the knowledge that is within it. But I am very excited to read it. So yeah, those are the books I have bought or have read or am reading at the moment. And I will leave all of the links down below. Let me know if you like me to share things like this with you because yeah, I love i love to read i just need to make it more of a priority and i do find it hard to juggle reading with consuming other media so yeah i cannot wait to smash through these books and i'll definitely share with you my thoughts as i work my way through them
this is the outfit that I'm going for today. My top and belt are from Suzanne. My little denim shorts are Abercrombie and Fitch. My bag is secondhand from Blaze Ruby Loves. And my shoes are Vaja. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. And I'm also going to take this denim jacket. Where's this from? Topshop. So it's a few years old. And I'm going to take that with me as well. A little bit of double denim action. All right. It is time to head to Jojo's. It's about an hour's drive, roughly. I mean, there's probably going to be traffic because it's rush hour right now. And I'm going to listen to a podcast en route. What shall I listen to? What shall I listen to? Let's have a little look. I'm going to listen to Diary of a CEO with Johan Hari. Everything you think you know about meaning and happiness is wrong. So that is what I'm going to listen to on the way to Jojo's. I'm just going to focus. That is what I'm going to listen to. I will leave a link down below to this podcast. Let's get clacking. What a dream. I've just parked at Jojo's house and check out the view from where Terence is parked. Incredible. Guys, this is Wisteria Goals. Actual Wisteria Goals. And can you see that? There's a little bird's nest in it. So Jojo's inside just making me a coffee to go and we are going to go for a walk from her house around the Chiltern Hills. If you don't know the Chiltern Hills is like an area outside of London, similar to the Surrey Hills, but just further north. It is absolutely stunning here. I don't know if you can hear the birds singing. Jojo lives in such a blissful location and like this is the view from her house. Can you see that? Like unbelievable scenes. So we're just going to take a coffee on the go and head out for a little country walk and Jojo's going to show me her local site and the gorgeous countryside that she lives in. What a dream. I cannot believe that Jojo has these views on her doorstep. What an incredible walk. Please excuse the sweat. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm here with Jojo. We are both quite warm. Very sweaty. Very sweaty. We are climbing this hill up from the valley. Absolutely stunning views, just sat enjoying them. And yeah, I don't know if, don't know if you guys have met Jojo in a vlog before. They probably have, haven't they? But mm. Jojo is our At interior Elsary designer. Nest. Designer for Elsary Nest, and she's just an absolute queen. So I will leave a link down below if you guys want to go and follow Jojo. She is like, I'm just going to say this in front of you to make you quince, but she is like my woman crush. Like my massive. <laughs> She's like my biggest woman crush of all the women Aww. I know. So you should all just follow her on Instagram for like interior inspo, just oh, life goals so. inspo. Aww. Just go follow Thank her. You. Okay. Oh, oh, look at her tissue. <laughs> what a dreamy, dreamy, dreamy day. It is now 1.30 p.m. So I've been with Jojo for 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, four hours. We've had a blooming great time. We've just hung out at her house. We've been for a nice long walk. We've had a coffee. We've explored the local villages. And I've just soaked up some beauty of the Chiltern Hills. And it's just so, so good to spend time with Jojo. Like, Jojo probably wouldn't like me to say her age, but she is a little bit older than me, over a decade older than me. And I feel like every time I'm with her, I just learn so much from her and her life experience. And I think there's so much value in having friends who are in different stages of life to you because you're always learning from each other. And I feel like, yeah, she just teaches me a lot and she is an amazing, amazing, amazing woman. So I definitely recommend you go and give her some love on socials. And now I'm gonna drive home. It was a bit of a nightmare driving here because there was a crash on, was it the M25? I'm so bad at the roads down south. So there was a big crash on one of the roads and I was quite heavily delayed and whatnot. So fingers crossed the drive home is a little bit smoother also here in the Chiltern Hills there's this bird called the red kite and there's so many of them flying around I can literally see one right now and they're so beautiful just what a great part of the world England England has just got some absolute gems and I'm feeling very appreciative that I live here <laughs> I'm about half an hour into my drive home and I just saw the most epic services and the sign said that they have Greg's and I haven't had lunch yet and I really want a Greg's vegan sausage roll so I'm gonna go try and find one. <laughs> Success! Got a vegan sausage roll from Greg's 
and I also got myself a packet of discos because I just saw them in WH Smith and I've been craving them. I haven't had discos in years, so I got myself a pack of these as well. So yeah, lunch today is a sausage roll and a packet of crisps. Do you want to go out? Have fun, honey. Stay safe. Oh, why am I getting a phone call? Hello? Yeah, that's me. Oh, hi. Sorry, that was Tesla calling me because Terence is going in for a service tomorrow, his first service. So he's just getting some sensors fixed and the heating system's a little bit messed up at the moment. So that's all gonna be fixed. Anyway, how good are these curls holding, guys? I am so impressed and I'm really liking how they look as they drop throughout the day. So yeah, really pleased with this. Anyway, I'm home, it's 3 p.m. I'm intending to do a workout at about 5 p.m., hopefully in the garden, if it's not raining, because it's looking a little bit ominous now. Um, but I feel like I need to eat something healthy because I didn't really have anything that nourishing at lunchtime. So I'm gonna have an apple with some peanut butter, crack on, oh, hello, Bella. Crack on with some work for a couple of hours, and then once my food is settled, I will do a little workout. So yeah, that is the plan. Look who it is. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who are you talking to? Bella. Yeah. How was your day? Uh, all right. It's a hot day today. 27 degrees. Yeah. On the train. Oh, do not miss those rush hour train journeys when it's like absolutely so rammed. And you're inside somebody's armpit. Yeah. It's not that fun, is it? Sold my own today. Oh, lovely jubbly. <laughs> and now you're going to go to physio, yeah? Mm -hmm. Ankle physio? Yeah. After yeah. your hummus? Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. How's your ankle feeling? A little bit stiff today. I did some squats and deadlifts yesterday. So fingers so. crossed you can mass out, massage out mm. the tension, yeah? Mm. You're in such a little hummus mode. I can tell that you're in hummus mode. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to the hand, I'm in hummus mode. <laughs> Anyway, Ant's going to go to physio, and I, while he's having physio, I am going to hopefully do a workout. That's the plan. I might do it outside, babe. Mm. I might do like a bodyweight workout in the garden. How do you feel about that? I reckon it actually be cooler in the gym. If it'd be cooler in the gym? Mm. But wouldn't it be nice to train outside? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, train outside. I might do that. I know I'm annoying because in my last vlog that I showed a workout that I did, I also did a workout from Fit. <laughs> so yeah, I am gonna use the Fit app. And I'm gonna do intervals number 37 with Adrienne Herbert, 40 minutes body weight cardio level advanced, full body. So that's my workout I'm gonna do today. But again, I know, like I said in my last vlog where I showed my workout, it's not very helpful for me to show you a workout that I had to pay for and you would have to pay for to do if you're not a member of this app that I use. So I'm just going to insert on here the workout that I did yesterday with my friend Ian. It was brutal. It was three nine minute circuits and it was absolutely killer. So I will just pop that on screen just here. Hopefully you guys found that useful. And yeah, if you want to see more of my workouts as I do them, make sure you head over to my Instagram and watch my Instagram stories because I do try and share screenshots of the workouts that I do when I'm training at home. It just happens to be that when I'm vlogging, you're catching me on days when I just want to tune into a workout that somebody else has programmed for me because I've had lots of other things on my mind and I can't be bothered to program a workout for myself. So yeah. Time to head out into the garden and train. I have a feeling it's gonna be real sweaty. That was brutal, guys. 
So Ant is going to be back from the physio soon and I thought for dinner tonight because Ant's going to be back late in the evening we might have all plants. Now just a disclaimer this part of the video is sponsored by all plants but you guys know if you've been following me for a while that I have been subscribed to all plants for well over a year now. We ate their meals back in our old London flat and we moved here 10 months ago so we genuinely have been using these guys for over a year and are subscribers and are obsessed. So I'm so excited to be working with them. Basically all plants send you chef made plant based meals to your doorstep that are packed full of goodness. The reason why we like all plants is not just because they're super convenient. You can like throw them in the microwave or throw them in the oven, but because they're very nourishing, like each bowl, for example, this bowl has three of your five a day and it's high in protein. It has 26 grams of protein per portion. So you're getting like plant-based goodness in your meals, very easy, very convenient. If you're somebody who's just trying to eat more plants, you don't have to be plant-based to eat all plants. <laughs> if you're somebody who wants to eat more plants, then they're a really good option to make eating more plants easy. So yeah, these are the ones that we chose for this month. They're always adding new dishes. So I actually haven't tried two of these. I haven't tried the smoky corn and sp Spanish rice bowl and the lentil and chutney chana bowl. So I was thinking tonight I will let Ant choose from those two bowls which one he wants for dinner. And we can try a new one. Oh, and by the way, I do have a discount code. So if you want to get yourself a box from All Plants, there is a code in the description box to get you £15 off your first box. So head down there, have a little look, see if you like the look of what they do. But honestly, we are long time fans. And I genuinely recommend them to all of my friends, all of my friends. Let me know if you've tried them before. We are obsessed with them. They just make life a little bit easier. And yeah, let's see what Ant wants to have for dinner. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. So here he is. He's back from the physio. And which meal are we going to have from these two? Uh, smoky corn. This one? Yeah. Okay, that is dinner tonight. And this one has three of your five a day. And it's high in protein, high in iron, high in vitamin C, and a good source of fiber. So. Yeah, this one does look good too. Yeah? Let's do this one. Stick with that. Yeah. Fine answer. Let's do it. Oh, it does look good. Is it good? Mmm. Perfect. Alright, we are going to end the vlog for the day. We're going to finish our dinner and then we're going to watch Line of Duty? Yep. Yeah, we are. We're on episode... Six? No. Uh, episode three. Three. Season six. Episode three, season six. So that's what we're on and that's what we're going to watch. We are smashing it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a cheeky thumbs up. Please hit subscribe. Please leave a comment. Mm -hmm. All that good stuff. Yeah. I feel like you haven't made much of an appearance in today's vlog, but... I'm cool with that. You're cool with that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's cool with that. <laughs> but you'll hopefully be in a vlog next week because we're going to film one right out in the Lake District. Yeah? Yeah, we'll do a vlog out in the Lake District. So. Okay, cool. And it'll be in next week's vlog a bit more because we're going to go on holiday next week. Going on the holidays? Going to go on our holidays. So we'll do a little vlog on our holidays. Nice. And we'll take you with us. So... More ant action then. Alright guys, see you soon. Bye!